life cycle of Ascaris lubricoides. Complete of the life cycle is of the single host, that why we call it as monogenic parasite will be there. Complete the life cycle is single host. The host is goes to basically human. Basically, the human beings, it is a highly affected of the highly complete of the life cycle of only human beings. Male and the female, which are present into the small intestine, undergoing to after copulation, it releases to the 2 lakhs eggs per day. 2 lakhs eggs per day. These eggs are very specialized. Very specialized. Why? Because it is goes to ripening surface. Ripe surface will be there. The ripe surface that is have a protein coating. It is a protein coat. Protein coat. In below of the protein coat, there is a have a shell. The chitinous made up of a shell will be there. Shell. In the below of the shell, there is a have a lipid coating. There is a have a lipid coating. Lipid coating. In there is a have a perfect distinguish. Nucleus is present. This is a this type of special type of arrangement of eggs we called as here mammillated eggs. Mammillated eggs. Mammillated eggs. These mammillated eggs releases by the Ascaris lubricoides 2 lakhs per day. These mammillated eggs along with the fecal material it is eliminated to the out by the feces. Eliminate out out by the feces when it reaches to the moist soil. Moist soil, it is a favorable condition to the growing of a or developing of a such egg. This egg undergoes to hatch, and here there is a have a it is a shell, it's a lipid coating. <coughs> here, first larva will be formed. Here, the first stage of larva will be formed. This is the first stage of larva will be there. In the soil, the first molting will be takes place. First molting will be takes place and they can formation of second stage of second stage of larva will be there. They can stage of rabbed head form larva. Rabbed head form. Rabbed head form larva. It is very very important important one. This is the infective stage to the human beings. This type of second stage. This is a second stage of larva of uh, Ascaris. The second stage of larva. Infective stage is very very one. It is goes to infective. It is a infective stage to the human beings. This type of rabbit of larva. It is religious to the outer environment outer environment this type of second stage of la rabbit form larva in is contaminated by the food materials or contaminated by the water it is reached to the again to the human beings it's again to the human beings and is reached to the small intestine small intestine small intestine in the small intestine basically it is uh, Okay, we, this is we consider it as a large intestine and it is goes to anus. So this is a small intestine. Okay, the small intestine reach it to the small intestine. When we reach the small intestine, what are the coating of the surface of the all the coatings of there is a have a protein coating and lipid coating and the chitinous coating all are uh, uh, dissolved the small larva will be come out this larva to show the migration that is goes to extra intestinal migration the starts the migration extra intestinal migration from the small intestine to the the first is it reach it to the liver first it reach it to the liver that is by the hepatic portal vein by the hepatic portal vein by the hepatic portal vein from the liver <coughs> from the liver it reach it to the heart 
from the liver it reach to the heart heart by the by the through the portal system it is uh, this type of larva it reach to the heart from the heart to the pulmonary arteries pulmonary arteries arteries it really it is uh, reach to the lungs it is reach to the lungs reach to the lungs these lungs there is a have a lot of infection it is infected to the alveoli and branches here there is a have a maltings will be takes place it is reach to the malting will be takes place that is a second stage of larva now we formation of second molting will be takes place it is formation of third stage of larva will be formed third stage of larva will be formed this is the third stage of larva it is comes to the again by the small intestine by the various aspects various way first stage is lungs to the they come to branchus they come to the branchus branchus to the trachea branches to the trachea trachea to the larynx larynx to the pharynx larynx to the pharynx to pharynx to the again esophagus esophagus from the stomach stomach and finally reach to the intestine finally reach it to the intestine here there is a have a fourth uh, molting will be takes place fourth molting will be takes place will be formation of young one will be formed young ones will be formed this young ones it is goes to reproductively active there is goes to 8 to 10 weeks 8 to 10 weeks it is formation of reproductive act to again this forms to the reproductions will be starts 3 to 10 weeks that is continues by the life cycle reconsideration as a ascaris lumbricoides here important point we are going to discuss here where the from the intestine of a second stage of rhabdoid form larva we are going to this much of a movement this all type of movements we consideration here that we consideration here we called as extra intestinal extra intestinal extra intestinal migration we call as extra intestinal migration is very very important to us okay let us see one by one and again <clears throat> first one is goes to male and female these both as carries are living into the small intestine of the human beings the small intestine of after a copulation of both as carries to be formation of two lakhs eggs per a day these lakhs uh, eggs are consisting of a riper surface a special type of eggs we can send we call as mammillated eggs these mammillated eggs there is a have a outermost area is supposed to fold it we call as it made up of a protein coating in below of the protein coat there is a have a shell it is made up of a chitin material and below of the chitin material the one more of the layer will be there that is called as a lipid made up of layer below there is a have a that is of embryo there is a have a zygote there is a have a nucleus will be there it is a, this is a egg come the along with the fecal materials to reach to the uh, moist soil the moist soil is very favorable condition to the growing of a such type of eggs then the moisture the first stage of larva will be formed in the egg this is the first stage of larva they go <coughs> they go to first molting we can formation of second stage of larva second stage of larva we call as rhabdoidy from larva this very very important stages goes to rhabdoidy from larva the larvae from larva is infective stage to the human beings that is infective stage this rhabdoidy from larva it is uh, reached to the from the small intestine again this is intest uh, rhabdoidy from larva from the soil to reach to the small intestine by the taking contaminated food material so very very important one contaminated food material 
or water. This is very important. Contaminated food material and water, it is reached to the small intestine. When they reach the small intestine, what are the coatings which are covered by the protein and the chitin and the lipid all are going to dissolve. That is a removal of all the layers, the small rhabdoidal from larva it reach to the small intestine. Here the small intestine, the small intestine to the, the larva, this starts to the extra intestinal migration. In that, <coughs> these larva, first we have to reach to the liver by the portal system, hepatic portal system. From the liver to the heart, heart to the pulmonary arteries from, <coughs> from the reach to the lungs. Lungs, there is a have a highly oxygen is available here. That's why it goes to again one molting will be takes place. That's the formation of second molting will be takes place. Formation of third stage of larva will be formed. These the third stage of larva they from the alveoli to branchus from the branchus to come to the upward direction of movement and finally reach it to the intestine. This two there there is a have a lot of journey will be there. The journey starts from the alveoli, alveoli to the branchus, branchus to the trachea, trachea to the larynx, larynx to the pharynx, pharynx to the esophagus, esophagus to the again will be dipped into the stomach and the stomach there is a have a one more molting will be takes place with formation of fourth stage of larva will be formed. Here is a complete young ones, the formation of complete young ones. Within 8 to 10 weeks, it is goes to reproductively active and finally the formation of the adult Ascaris will be formed. Next we goes to pathogenicity. Now, which disease is caused by the Ascaris? Mostly a uh, few infections. Few infection means the mild infections we should not uh, asymptomatic. When we highly infected, this goes to lot of symptoms means severe abdominal pain and the hepatite loss of hepatite and the stunted growth is mostly in the children's it's a very very symptomatic next what is it okay i will show you once again the symptoms basically these these type of uh, mild infection asymptomatic but it is a highly infected by the ascaris the disease ascariasis the disease we call as ascariasis ascariasis the disease will be caused by the ascaris lumbricoides the symptom is goes to severe abdominal pain loss of appetite stunted growth mostly in the children's we eat a lot of food material but we should not show any type of the growth that type of uh, stunted growth is a very much uh, important symptom of to the ascariasis disease now how to control means prophylaxis what is the method to controlling of means here basically First we must to hear what is the second stage of larva it is not run contaminated the food material basically it is come out by the infected person by the external defecation process the type of larva is come out that's why avoiding first one is goes to avoiding of avoid external defecation external defecation avoid external defecation second one is after going to the toilet first to wash the hands clean before going to food uh, to wash the hands wash the hands clean when we go to outside to mask the wear foot feet foot feet the fourth one is goes to we are eaten food materials by the warm condition we should not uh, eat the stored food materials and when we come taken from the leafy vegetables from the market we must be clean perfectly and soaked well and soaked well or cooked well there is a this type of prophylaxis must be take the consideration to controlling of the ascaris disease okay this is about life cycle ascaris okay the what is overview of ascaris lumbricoides cosmopolitan distribution Ascaris lumbricoides is a digenetic parasite, male and female will be there. There is a have a different type of structures. There is goes to life cycle, the life cycle is there. That is goes to disease caused by the ascariasis. And next is goes to these are the prophylaxis to be controlling by the ascaris disease.